Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whom the universe is sending into your life next. Okay, so I guess this message is going to be um, also tailored for those of you that are single and looking, for those of you that are seeking, you're open and you're receptive and you know, you're willing to invite new romantic energy and just like a new start for a, a relationship here or a connection here, just this sense of openness here, I guess. Um, it is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and connect. I will list my email address below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see whom the universe is sending into your life next. Seven, eight, nine. We've got three consecutive numbers. That's something. And you've got the Knight of Wands, and then you've also got the Knight of Cups, who are quite polar opposites in terms of um, um, energies here. Okay, now judgment. I feel like the universe here is definitely sending someone new into your life. But it feels like this person that's going to enter your life here, it feels like they're going to have a very big and a very significant impact on you and your life here. To me, it feels like this person either has entered or is about to enter your life when you're going through a period of an awakening of some sort, an emotional awakening, an awakening out of a, like a slumber kind of energy. And it feels like this person here, when you will meet this person, it'll, it feels like there's sort of like a uh, electricity to the energy honestly it feels like electrifying and it feels like this person here is going to awaken something inside of you they're going to awaken something inside of you that has laid dormant for quite some time here and it's almost like this person here you might have had relationships before and look a part of you may have wanted you know to find to find someone who is compatible, to find someone whom you are going to build a loving and, lo uh, and loyal relationship with. But something about this person will just feel right. And something about this person is going to awaken you. It's almost like before them, prior to them entering your life, it's almost like you were walking around in a state of slumber. And then, bam, there's just something that the two of you, you know, that they do to you or the two of you will do to each other. It's just like... You've never met quite anyone, you've never met anyone like this before. They're very unique, they're very intriguing. They may not even be a usual type, but just something about them that I feel like you will not be able to put into a word, like into words. And you guys are ruled by air energy here, your natural wordsmith, and even you will be at a loss for words around this person here. So yeah, it feels like an awakening. So uh, just to sum up, this person is either going to enter your life. So if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, this person hasn't entered my life, yet how much longer well you, you will they will enter your life when you're ready for them okay when your energy is receptive and open now for some of you i feel like there's an awakening around your energy here or either this person here is going to invite that awakening into your life here but they're going to definitely enter your life in a big way even 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 somewhat either theatrical or dramatic here as well so i like it could be after, you know, shortly after a breakup. Maybe that's the dramatic part. It just feels, there's such an energy, like an electrifying energy to them entering your life here. Um, and I feel like this is someone whom is, they're very honest. They've got a very transparent, very raw kind of energy to them. Very unique. It's, it's especially hard to find someone like, um, someone who is as honest and as transparent and as raw as they are it's just like they have no filter they say it as it is um there's just they're an open book okay there's no hiding okay there's no dishonesty it's like it's very raw and it's going to be a very raw connection where you're each going to lay out your flaws and your insecurities but you will be accepting of each other nevertheless now seven of swords here now because you're coming up as a seven of swords here 
I don't look, I don't think you're a, a manipulator. I don't think, I don't think you're someone who, because there's such a deception and there's such a trickery, right? Especially a mental trickery to this card. To me, the mental deception or the mental trickery is you possibly being dishonest with yourself, okay? You possibly being not upfront about your feelings for this person early on in the connection. Like, you may start catching feelings as soon as the two of you cross paths. Like, it may even be a love at first sight situation for those that, you know, believe in it. But for some of you, I feel like you may have your doubts, you may have your hesitations, you may have your reservations, and therefore this is why you come up as a seven of swords. It's, it's you not being upfront about your emotions. That's what it is to me. That's what it feels like. It's you being a little bit dishonest with yourself and what you might feel for this person or what might potential, potentially entail from this connection. Now, there's going to be... It's going to be a bit of a whirlwind romance for some of you, okay? This person is going to enter your life very quickly and I feel like feelings will develop and will blossom very, very early on from the connection. For some of you, I've mentioned a love of first sight situation. For others of you, you could potentially connect with this person online. It just feels there's like a lot of energy around this connection. It doesn't give me the sense that it's a rushed, that any of the process is rushed, but it does feel like things happen fast. So... If you find yourself a little bit dizzy from all the movement and all the progression here, maybe you want to slow it down a little bit because you don't want to miss a good thing here, okay? You want to make sure that you soak up the moment and, you know, instead of it just sort of... Because it, it just feels like there's a lot. It just feels like it's very exciting. It's very exhilarating. And I'm not saying that some of you are going to be really, you know, swept up in the in the romantic aspect of it, but I just feel like because things are happening so fast, you want to make sure you're present in the moment, okay? Because it's just, there's such a fluidity to this connection. There's just, because I feel like when you know, you know, and when you meet this person, you and this energy will both know that you guys will click. There's just something there. And, you know, you also have this impact on them as well, where you're just going to turn their world upside down, you know? And I feel like you might potentially even, because with this with this person, maybe they've given up on love, and then all of a sudden you enter their life, and they want to, you know, they want to all of a sudden give love and romance another chance. So this is definitely, it just feels like the both of you will really shake up each other's world here. Now, with this person here, I feel like they're going through a lot of growth in their life. I feel like there's a lot of movement or travel around this person's energy. So they could be residing in a different country. They may have been born overseas. They may be from a different cultural background. They could be doing a lot of traveling for work. They might even travel a lot for leisure, just like ping-ponging between different countries here. There's a lot of movement around their energy. I also feel like this person is coming up as a restless energy um, they have a hard time sitting still. I feel like they're very athletic here. They're in great shape here. Um, I feel like they're very outdoorsy. So surfing, sports, football, soccer, just very athletic here. They're naturally gifted and talented, especially at um, like athleticism and sports here. They're, I did mention they're in great shape. They like to take care of themselves here. Um, and they're very... They're very cautious about how they present themselves, but there is a very restless energy about them. They're very much, they're always on the move here, okay? But I guess that pairs well with your energy because you're governed by the element of air and you guys, you know, air is movement, right? So I feel like the two of you will pair very nicely in that regard here. Very adventurous, okay? Very adventurous. You might even meet this person out on an adventure of some sort, but I feel like your connection with this person will be full of adventure here, a lot of excitement here. I do get that they're very restless though, so I don't know how this is going to transition, you know, with them being in a relationship. It just feels like, it may be very spontaneous, it could be very fun and exciting, or it could be a little bit tiresome for some. So I guess that's, you know, I guess, you know, you'll cross that bridge when you get to it, but they're just coming up with so much energy. I would advise that this person, if they haven't already, like they need an outlet to express and expel some of that energy that is coming up around them. They're very romantic here, very romantic. This is someone who I feel like is uh, very big on love. Um, they may have been hurt or betrayed in the past here, but I feel like something about your energy and something about you might even restore their faith in love here. Um, someone who I feel like there's a lot of chivalry coming coming up at the, around their energy. A very romantic, expect to be swept off your feet, expect romantic and grand gestures, 
expect for this person to say that they love you very early on in the connection okay now that might take a little bit some of you by surprise but they do wear their heart in their sleeve and they do catch feelings very quickly and I mean this is someone who is going to be head, in the, head over heels in love with you here um, I feel like this person is really for Karihi I'm seeing that they there's numbers around them so either they're really good with their finances or they may work in a financial institution like accounting um, or just yeah I'm seeing like finance around them they could be working finance like a, a background in finance here I'm also seeing that if not when you meet them then in the future there's a lot of like there's mass potential around them so there's potential for a lot of success especially to generate a very um, lucrative and uh, very nice cushy income I feel like they may go into business and work for themselves later part in life but I feel like they've got a very personable energy around them and they do very well in sales they could be in sales if not they would definitely do very well and excel in that industry here um, they could also be a professional sports athlete and I feel like there's something else I should tell you about the energy I feel like sometimes there's this inconsistent inconsistencies with their energy here they have moments where they're going to be very full on okay very full on and there's other times where you'll find that they slow down a little bit okay and that's just because you know nobody can be like a hundred percent all the time so that they they sometimes slow down a little bit okay and sometimes that might translate as them being a little bit inconsistent with their energies here but um, they are someone who I feel like you know you could just talk to they are someone whom I feel like they're very open as I've mentioned very honest and I feel like you could just you could let them know what's on your mind if there are any concerns it's best that you because they're a conversationalist they're definitely there's a mental compatibility there with you and this person and I feel like this is someone who does want to talk things over and resolve things as they come rather than just let things pile up on them. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Bye for now.